welcome to Mommy Loves Gardening. Today I'm inside the house. I would like to share to you the pesticide that I am using, a homemade pesticide for. So it's very easy because you could just find all these ingredients at the kitchen. Some of you were asking me how to take out the pests, especially the mini bugs. Ang mini bugs po, yun po yung puti puti sa ating mga halaman, especially sa ating mga rosas, sa ating gumamela, hibiscus. So nagkakaroon po sila ng puti puti. Mini bugs po ang tawag doon. So this is really the best for it. And any type of insect na maaaring makapinsala sa ating rosas. So, subuko po ito. I actually used other three pesticides yung nabibili po sa nursery. Parang lalo pong namatay yung halaman ko. Nangitim po yung dahon. So, I get back to this. Bumalik po ako dito sa ginagamit ko. Nung nagka-problema po ko sa rosas ko, that was two months ago when I started to face a problem with my roses, nag-start po siyang magkaroon ng peste. I happened to encounter na dalawang pesticide yung naitry ko. Nangitim po yung dahon. Ang bilis-bilis. I sprayed konti lang. So, nakaka-disappoint yung mga nagbebenta ng ganun. The first pesticide that I used that was the one that our friend gave us to use. That was good. But that is a product here in Malaysia. Wala po siya dyan sa Pilipinas. But for now, I have been using this for quite some time kasi po matagal na pong naubos yun. Yung pesticide na yun. So, and this one really works. So, yan. Pakita ko po sa inyo paano. So, I have a basin here, and just for demonstration purposes, para ipakita ko po sa inyo kung ano yung mga ihahalo natin. We need one liter of water, so make sure that you follow the proportion when making this. And then, after one liter of water, we need baking soda. Ito po ang baking soda. So, again, baking soda po, not baking powder. Magkaiba po ang baking soda at ang baking powder. So, wag po kayong malilito when you get this at the grocery shop. Baking soda, not powder. So, how much? So, gano po kadami? One teaspoon of baking soda. Huwag niyo pong dadamihan. Wag not more than one teaspoon of baking soda in one liter of water. Yan. Kasi magiging masyado matapang. So, yan po. One teaspoon there. Ayan. So, and then, after the baking soda, I have here a dishwashing liquid. Para po magkamatayan sila. So, ayan. Gano po kadami? Add one teaspoon of dishwashing liquid. So, I just, I just calculate actually. I don't really use a teaspoon. And the third ingredient is oil. I will be using olive oil. Actually, any type of vegetable oil will do. If you have olive oil at home, then use olive oil. But if you have neem oil, or if you want, you may check through Lazada, you can get neem oil. If you have neem oil, then you may add two spoonful of neem oil. Kasi po ang neem oil, pesticide po talaga siya. Maganda siya talaga sa halaman. Since wala po akong neem oil, any vegetable oil will do. So, ayan po. Kung hindi po olive oil ang gamit nyo, pwede nyo pong gamitin ang corn oil, canola oil, um, sunflower oil, any type of vegetable oil. So, ayan po. Mababasa nyo naman po siya sa label. So, gano po kadami? 3 to 4 droplets of vegetable oil. Konti lang po. Not like other. Uh, so, not like neem oil. Bakit po? Kasi po, itong vegetable oil, ang purpose niya lang po is for the formula to stick on the leaves and on the stem for quite some time. But do not put so much. Take note, 3 to 4 droplets of vegetable oil only to 1 liter of water. Kasi po, baka po makover yung leaves ng oil. And that is bad. Maninilaw po ang dahon ng inyong halaman o ng inyong rosas. Pero although walang makakalapit na insekto, kaya lang hindi naman po siya makapag-process ng photosynthesis. Photosynthesis po, para lang po karagdan ng alaman sa iba po sa atin na hindi alam ang photosynthesis. Ayan po, yun po yung parang, parang tayo rin po pag humihinga tayo, we, we breathe oxygen. Ang halaman po, humihinga din po sila. So they also are breathing and getting their food through the air, carbon dioxide po, kinukuha nila yan sa sa kapaligiran, sa hangin, yun po yung hinihinga nila, carbon dioxide, through their leaves, and with the help of the sunlight. So, ganyan po sila, lumalaki, lumalago, ayan. Pero pag na-coat po sila ng oil, so mahirapan po silang huminga. Kaya po minsan, 
maninilaw siya. So, nangyari din po yan sa rosas ko. Since I noticed na medyo naninilaw yung dahon, ibig po sabihin, i-adjust natin siya. So, I used less oil. 3 to 4 droplets of oil only I'm using. And it's very effective po. Ayan, ang roses ko po ngayon is recovering now. Kaya lang medyo maliliit pa rin yung dahon niya. Pero hindi po siya tumigil mong mulaklak. It's still flowering until now. It's just that the flowers are smaller now. So, pero pag naka-recover na siya, babalik na po siya sa dati. So, I'm just waiting maybe another one month para lumaki na rin talaga siya at lumago. Kasi po, talagang pinutol ko ang my roses. I really cut them short. So, nakalbo talaga siya. And now, they are starting to have their leaves. Inaagapan ko na po sila nito. So, I have been spraying this pesticide once a week. So, I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you so much for watching. Maraming salamat po. Terima kasi. Siye, siye. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet for more of Mommy Loves Gardening. For any questions and comments, please type down below this video.